Hello friends, welcome to my channel Blockon. In this video, I am going to demonstrate PNS guided posterior approach to distal popliteal sciatic nerve block. It is also known as the intertendinous approach to popliteal fossa block. In posterior approach, the nerve block needle travels from posterior to anterior direction. The patient can be placed in prone, lateral or in supine position, depending on the operator's performance and experience. In prone position, extra care must be taken to ensure the correct side is blocked. In lateral position, the side to be blocked is uppermost and in supine position, the knee and the hip are flexed at 90 degrees with support. Overall, the posterior approach is easier for the trainees to learn. Landmarks for this approach are easily identified even in obese patients. The nerve is located superficially within 2 to 4 cm from the skin. The popliteal crease, the tendon of biceps femoris muscle and the tendon of semimembranosus and semitendinosus muscles are identified and outlined by a marker pen. Then a perpendicular is drawn bisecting the popliteal crease. A point 7 to 8 cm above the popliteal crease on this perpendicular line is chosen. This point usually lies at the midpoint between the tendons and just above the sciatic nerve in popliteal fossa in nearly two third of the patients. Alternatively, the needle is inserted one centimeter lateral to this point. The landmarks can be accentuated by asking the patient to flex the knee joint. This maneuver tightens the hamstring muscles and facilitates more accurate palpation of the tendons. The choice of type, volume, and concentration of the local anesthetic should be based on the build and general condition of the patient and indication of the block. I use a concentration of 0.5% or above in case of sole anesthesia and for analgesia, 0.25% or below. About 20 to 25 mils of local anesthetic is usually required for this block. The needle is inserted perpendicularly between the tendons of biceps femoris and semitendinosus muscles. The nerve stimulator is initially set to deliver 1.5 milliamps current at 2 hertz frequency with 0.1 millisecond pulse duration. Entrance of the needle into the paraneural or vlocus sheath is almost always associated with a pop or facial click. This sign serves as a valuable clue in conjunction with the nerve stimulation to ascertain the proper needle position. Once we get the desired response, that is foot twitch, the stimulating current is gradually decreased and the needle is repositioned until the twitches are still seen at 0.2 to 0.5 milliamps. At this point, 20 to 25 mils of local anesthetic is slowly injected after negative aspiration for blood in 3 to 5 ml aliquots. Inversion EMR 
yields best result followed by plantar flexion dorsiflexion and eversion inversion of foot is caused by tibialis anterior which is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve and tibialis posterior muscle which is supplied by the tibial nerve hence such a response indicates a central needle tip location and stimulation of both tibial and the common peroneal components this could be the reason for a higher success rate and a shorter onset time of anesthesia with inversion response similarly the peroneus longus and the brevis muscles are supplied by superficial peroneal nerve which are responsible for dorsiflexion that is why eversion is the least preferred response if the belloni cast is applied covering the ankle then the twitch of the great toe is accepted if a small change in needle position results in a change in the motor response that is from tibial to common peroneal or vice versa it indicates that the needle tip is located at or just above the level of divergence which is the sweet spot for injection if you are getting local twitches of the biceps femoris semi membranosus or semi tendinosus muscles it indicates the direct stimulation of these muscles due to the placement of needle either too lateral or too medial in such case withdraw the needle and redirect 5 to 10 degree medially or laterally and advance twitch of the calf muscles could be due to the stimulation of the small muscular branches of the sciatic nerve which are actually outside the paraneural sheath so do not accept this response and continue advancing the needle vascular puncture and bony contact indicates too medial or too deep needle placement in such case withdraw the needle and redirect accordingly thanks for watching catch you in the next video until then keep blocking keep rocking